In the previous episode, Sawatari ordered the ghost devil to kill Hayakawa, after which, it choked Hayakawa's neck. Now he starts remembering the times he spent with Haimno. She asked Hayakawa to smoke a cigarette, but he refuses to smoke, saying that cigarettes are bad for the bones, so he doesn't want it. To which Haimno says that she has a feeling that they will be teammates for a long time. That's why, she really hopes that he can smoke. Now after hearing this, Hayakawa is unable to refuse her and gets ready to smoke a cigarette. But he will smoke only this once in his life. Haimno becomes very happy listening this, and says that she will light it for him. Then Hayakawa says that she is making a minor smoke. So she is a terrible senior. She is shocked to hear this, as she did not know that he is still a minor. After this, she tells Hayakawa that if it is, of course he cannot smoke. So, she also becomes a little sad and takes back the cigarette from Hayakawa. However, she decides to keep this cigarette for him. And she will give it back, when he is grown up and needs something to take the edge off. In the next scene, Hayakawa has freed himself from the hands of the ghost devil. But he is still missing Haimno. That's why, he is very sad. Suddenly, he realizes that the ghost devil has something for him, because it had clenched its fist in front of him. So, Hayakawa is also surprised by this. Now, even the ghost devil has completely calmed down. That's why, Sawatari is also surprised to see this, because even she does not understand what is happening here. Now, Hayakawa also wants to know what is in the ghost devil's fist. After this, the ghost devil opens its fist, in which, there was a cigarette. This increases Hayakawa's astonishment even more. He immediately checks with that cigarette, on which easy revenge was written. Hayakawa then raises his sword, and he starts going towards the ghost devil. He says that ghost devil has no eyes, but what it sees is fear. That's what Senior Haimno told him. Now, he comes on top of the ghost devil. But during this time, even the ghost devil was not doing anything to him. This shocks even Sawatari herself. Hayakawa then goes to kill the ghost devil. He was still missing Haimno, so he says that he will join her soon. Now, Hayakawa kills the ghost devil with his sword. After which, the ghost devil's head falls down and Sawatari can't do anything about it. Now, she wants to use her snake to kill Hayakawa, but at this moment Kobni comes here and puts a knife on her neck to kill her. Still, Hayakawa stops Kobni to kill Sawatari. Now, Sawatari is unable to do anything because of this. Then Hayakawa comes to Kobni and asks why she stayed at public safety. She gets a little sad hearing this, and then says that because they will get their bounces soon. On the other hand, Denji and Power are still inside the elevator. They are going toward the top floor, but Power has one of the zombie's severed hands and begins to eat it. But Denji doesn't like this thing at all, to which Power says that meat is meat. So, pork, beef, or human are all the same. Hearing this, Denji tells Power that it is totally different. But Power doesn't like Denji's talk. So, they both start fighting with each other. Then Denji tries to convince Power and says that their job is to capture Katana Man. So, she should better not eat him when they do. Meanwhile, both come to floor number 7. There is a herd of zombies in front of them. Denji gets very scared seeing this. However, they have not noticed them. So, Denji tells Power not to make any loud noises. But Power does not listen to him, and she immediately shouts to attract their attention. Now, Denji gets scared because of this. But Power was not afraid of them at all. She tells him to follow her and watch her back. But Denji doesn't even come out of the elevator and immediately starts going toward the top floor. Now, Power starts attacking these zombies. But she doesn't know that Denji has gone and she moves on killing zombies. Meanwhile, a powerful and tall zombie appears in front of her. But Power was still not feeling any fear because she thinks that she's the strongest and then kills that tall zombie too. On the other hand, Denji still happens to be in the elevator. But he doesn't care about Power at all and after some time he reaches floor number 13. Denji understood that there would be danger. That's why, he becomes completely ready. Now when he opens the door of the elevator, he finds Katana Man in front of him. But Katana Man stops Denji to do anything, because he wants to talk with him first. Hearing this, Denji comes out of the elevator. Then Katana Man tells him that they are willing to surrender depending on his attitude because all they want is closure for their anger. But Denji doesn't understand why he is saying such things. Then Katana Man tells him that Denji killed their friends and his grandpa, so they want him to pay for that. To which Denji says that he killed his buddies and grandpa, because they turned into zombies. But hearing this, Katana Man starts getting angry on him. He tells Denji that uneducated idiots are always quick to lie. But even if that were true, zombies were once human. So, he asks Denji if he doesn't feel guilty for killing them. 
but Denji replies that not a bit. Hearing this katana man smiles, and then says that Sawatari had made some changes on him. So, his heart seems to have been replaced with the katana devils. But even after that, he cannot sleep well when he killed zombies by accident. So, he thinks that Denji has lost his human heart. Because if he has any semblance of a human conscience left, he should let them kill him. Hearing this, Denji thinks about it for a while, but still doesn't like it. Because of this, Katana Man gets angry at Denji and decides to cut him down. Seeing this, Denji also starts his chainsaws. Both start fighting, breaking the building and start falling down. But this time Denji blocks the Katana Man's attack and tells him that he thought he was going to cut him. Now because of this, Katana Man gets even more angry with him and then throws him over a building. He then tries to attack Denji, but Denji defends himself from his attack. However, Katana Man gets very angry on him, so he starts attacking Denji with his katana. But this time Denji was also fully prepared to face him. That's why he saves himself from every attack of Katana Man. In this way, a great fight starts between them. But Denji can't hold Katana Man for long, and Katana Man punches him and throws him on the train. But Katana Man is not ready to leave him easily. That's why he also comes on the train. After this, Denji stands up to face him again. Seeing this, Katana Man tells him that Denji's moves are faster now, but what he is fighting for, to which Denji says that he wants to protect the life he has now. Then Katana Man says that means the people in public safety are enjoying their lives a lot. Hearing this, Denji says that one of them is annoying and the other is a brat, but overall he is happy with it, so he will finish him real quick to have Makima commend him. After listening to him, Katana Man smiles and says that Denji would not be able to beat him. Then Denji asks if he thinks he has already won, because he is not dead yet. This enrages Katana Man even more and both start attacking each other again. But now Denji was so mad at him, so he constantly blocks his attack and starts attacking with high speed. Suddenly Katana Man throws Denji away with his powerful punch. Still, Denji stands up again to face him. Suddenly Katana Man attacks and both of them fall inside the train. Now because of them, all the passengers get very scared and immediately start running from there. Meanwhile, it is decided to stop the train to save all the passengers. Then Katana Man starts attacking Denji again, injuring him badly. Meanwhile, Katana Man is about to kill a lady, but Denji extends his hand to save her. Because of this, one of his hands is cut off. After this, the lady runs away from there. Then Denji tells Katana Man that he should try something new. Hearing this, Katana Man attacks with his high speed and cuts off Denji's other hand as well. In this way, he is badly injured. So, Katana Man thinks he has defeated Denji, because both his hands are cut off so he cannot fight anymore. After this, Katana Man tells Denji that before his death, he should apologize for killing his grandpa. But then Denji once again stands up to face him and says that he can still fight, because he still has the chainsaw on his head. Seeing this, Katana Man also gets ready to face him. So, as soon as Denji comes to attack him, he attacks him with his katana, due to which, Denji's last chainsaw also breaks. Katana Man asks Denji if his grandpa did not teach him when to quit. Now, Katana Man asks Denji to apologize to his grandpa, and he will end his misery, to which Denji says that Katana Man carefully aimed for his head. Then Katana Man realizes that Denji has torn his body in two parts. Denji asks if his grandpa did not teach him that a beast should never trust the hunter. But now Katana Man could not do anything and falls down badly injured. After some time, Katana Man wakes up, who has now come in his human form. Then he learns that he has been chained. Now, Denji appears in front of him and tells him that he is the same as him. Because when he pulled out his katana, his body went back to one piece. Still Katana Man was very angry and he wants to kill Denji. To which Denji says that losers are always the loudest. But he has to stick around until the police show up for him. Just then he realizes that there is something he is upset about. Denji tells Katana Man that he killed his senior Hymno, so it is all his fault. Because there's one less pretty girl in the world. Denji asks him if he will live out his life in prison without being sorry. However, he doesn't think that is fair. Then Katana Man asks as if he can do anything about it. Because he is just a public safety's dog. Hearing this, Denji thinks about it for a while, and then he gets an idea. After this, he decides to hold a tournament. Hearing this, Katana Man starts getting worried. Hayakawa also shows up just then and asks Denji about the tournament. Seeing him, Denji says that he has come at the perfect time. Now, Hayakawa contacts the police and tells that the target is under control on the train tracks in front of the clock tower. Denji asks Hayakawa if he wants to participate in his tournament, because it is the ultimate tournament. 
to which Hayakawa asks what exactly he is talking about. Then Denji says that this guy shot Senior Heimno, so they should give him nut shots too, and that is the tournament, because they will take turns kicking him in the balls, and whoever gets the loudest scream out of him before the cops show up is the winner. Hearing this katana man gets scared and asks if they are really serious. Denji smiles upon seeing this, but then Hayakawa sits down in despair. Then Denji asks him if he is playing or not, to which Hayakawa says that their job is to capture him, but not to torture him to feel good, because doing that won't make Senior Haim no happy. But then he takes out the cigarette and asks Denji what he will get if he wins, to which Denji replies that his balls. After this, both start going towards Katana Man and he tries to stop them from doing so. On the other hand, Kishaib and all the devils are outside the building, where all the terrorists had surrendered. But on the other hand, Denji and Hayakawa have started kicking Katana Man's balls. So, he is screaming a lot. Hayakawa is wondering if Haimno can hear this in heaven, because it is a requiem from them. In the next scene, we see Makama with her senior. She reports that this terrorist attack was instigated by a former civilian devil hunter named Akane Sawatari because she made the contract with the gun devil and distributed guns to the Yakuza. So in return, they said Sawatari wanted the chainsaw devil's heart. Now, her senior asks why Sawatari wanted its heart, but Makama could not find any information about it, because before they could obtain the information Sawatari committed suicide. So, Makama tells the senior it may be an involuntary suicide, because of her contract with the gun devil. She reveals that they have seized 1.4 kilos of gun devil flesh from inside the building and after they combined it with the five kilos in their possession, it finally started to move towards the gun devil itself. Hearing this, the senior asks towards where it is moving. In the next scene, Denji, Power, and Hayakawa are together. At this time, all three are not worried about anything, so they are enjoying a lot of together. They go for shopping together and have drinks after coming home. After some time, Denji and Power get drunk. Now, Hayakawa comes out of the room and sits in the balcony where he takes out a cigarette, looks at it, and then smokes it. Denji was sleeping comfortably. Suddenly he starts seeing the same place in his dream, where he lived with Pachita. Denji moves forward and comes to a door with some papers hanging on it. He realizes that it is the same dream again, but the dream he always has and always forgets. Meanwhile, he hears the voice of Pachita. So, a smile comes on his face, and he asks it to come out, because at least he wants to touch it in his dream. After this, he goes to open the door, but then he hears a voice, which tells him not to open it no matter what. Next day, we see a girl. She remembers Denji asking which he think is better, country mouse or city mouse. After this episode ends, click the playlist of the left side or check pinned comment if you have missed the previous parts, and subscribe to any summary for more anime recaps.